Hi, we're here with Roy Keeler, a Senior Product Manager at AD Link, to talk about the impact of emerging technologies, specifically edge and fog computing, on defense and aerospace. So Roy, uh, you know, the U.S. government has made a huge push into cloud computing recently. That's correct. If people are already looking at that, what do they need to know about edge and fog? Well, the difference between fog and, and cloud is you're, you're actually pushing uh, artificial intelligence out to and decision making out to the edge of the cloud. So that's what fog does for you. It builds intelligence out at the edge so you can make very quick decisions without having to go all the way back to command post back behind the, the, uh, the lines basically. When you say quick decisions, um, pushing the data and the decision making down to the appropriate level? That's correct, okay. yes. And what you're really trying to do there is uh, decrease the, uh, the kill chain time. So uh, that's very important from the time that you detect something going on to the time you can take action to pay, depending on that um, information that you've received from cloud or from fog computing or from your sensors. How rapidly is this being adopted? Um, it, you know, interestingly enough, it's, it's, uh, it's pretty pervasive in the military today. Uh, things that we don't see, ballistic missile defense, for instance, mm -hmm. uh, they use IoT and cloud computing uh, for uh, connecting all the different sensors that go into the ballistic missile defense system. So um, when you have an Aegis cruiser off the coast of a, of a hostile country, you have a, a THAAD system sitting somewhere in coast, and um, uh, satellite communications back to the command post back in the United States, back to Cheyenne Mountain, for instance. Right. All of that is hooked together through uh, uh, cloud computing today. And so your, your uh, again, time to shooter is very low because your, this information is being uh, done at real time across the platforms. With the advent of Fog and Edge, how does that change the nature of conflict going forward? What can we expect? Next war is going to be won by information dominance. Okay. And that's, and that's not only uh, dominating the tactical moves on the battlefield, but controlling the electromagnetic spectrum. If we can control the information that's coming in and out of a battle area, okay. we can control the flow of battle. So our enemies, if we can deny them access to the electromagnetic spectrum, they can't communicate. They're blind, basically. So that's very important is dominating that spectrum. And you can do that through cloud AI and putting sensors out at the battlefield that pull in the spectrum, analyze the spectrum, and then shift your operations so that your information is not interfering or is being blocked or jammed. So that's where some of that stuff becomes very important You've got a connected environment, you're analyzing the data as it's coming back, and optimizing the available bandwidth that's out there for you to conduct operations. Well, good stuff. Thanks for joining us. Well, today. thank you. I appreciate it.